Hey guys, Vinay from excelchamp.net. Recently, I was teaching a class of Excel and we had a number of teachers, teachers from schools. They wanted to find out simple ways to mark the results of the students. So, a simple case is where you can just mark a student pass or fail based on the marks. But uh, sometimes our school system is not just a pass or a fail, but we grade it based on how many marks you have got. So uh, maybe below 50 is fail and then 50 to 60 is a grade D, 60 to 70 is a grade C and so and so forth. So when you have multiple conditions, how do we quickly find the result? So this was the question the teachers were asking me and I thought there are several ways and several functions to do. Some are easier, some are simpler and some new function in Excel that can do this very easily. So let's today solve this issue, whether you pass or you fail. Let's check it out. So as you can see here, I have a few students. Uh, we have taken the comic characters, Bond, Mickey Mouse, Tintin, Indiana Jones, Doctor Strange, Catwoman and the cartoon character Alita. So we have these students and these are the marks that they have received. So if we have to find out uh, whether they pass or they fail. So let us try a simple example. Below 50 is fail and above 50 is pass. This is the simplest of situations. So uh, just like the way we speak in English, like if marks are less than 50, then fail, otherwise pass. So exactly the same way we can type it in Excel as a function also. So you know all functions start with the equal to sign and then we write if and then we need to say if marks. So we don't type marks, we just click on the marks. If marks less than 50. So this condition uh, will be true or false. If marks are less than 50, then fail. So then, and then fail is a word, so we must type it in double quotes. And what happens if you are not less than 50? Then that means you have passed the exam. So it will be double quote and pass. That's it. There are no uh, other conditions. In any exam, either you fail or you pass. There's no third outcome at all. So in this case, we simply close the bracket and press enter. And as you can see, Bond has successfully passed the test. If we simply drag down, we can see that Mickey Mouse couldn't make it. Uh, Tintin made it. Indiana couldn't make it. Maybe spending too much time on adventures. But Doctor Strange, Catwoman and Alita all passed. So this was the simplest case uh, if condition. We could have written it the other way also. For example, we could have written it like if marks are more than or equal to 50. If marks are greater than or equal to 50, then pass. Otherwise, fail. So it does not really matter whether you write the pass first or the fail first. It depends on the condition that you are testing. Let me check it out. Again, the result is exactly the same. So if we double click and we can see the result is exactly the same as the previous one. Now the benefit of creating formulas is if the marks change, for example, if bond gets 50 you can see it is still a pass in both cases. But if you get a 49, um, then immediately changes to a fail. What happens if you are very close to 50, like 49.99? What do you think? Yes, you are right. And as long as the number is below 50, it is a fail. So even if you are close to 49.99999, it is still a fail only a 50 and above will make it a pass. So these were the simplest cases. But as you know, our school systems are not so simple. 
So let's try a third case where we will simply say um, below 50 fail, above 50 pass and above 85 is distinction. So just three conditions, fail, pass and distinction. Let's check it out. So for this we can write if marks are less than 50 then of course there's no choice then fail but if marks are more than 50 that means you have passed the test but we are still not sure uh, because 51 is more than 50 but that's just a pass and 91 is also more than 50 but that is a distinction so we should say here um, for sure we cannot be so we cannot be really sure shall we type pass or distinction so we got to check one more time this time we will check if the marks are above 85 or below 85 so if the marks are below 85 that means they are between 50 to 85 in this case you are only a pass otherwise means the marks could be 85 or above 85 and then you deserve the distinction. Congratulations guys for getting the distinction. And now watch carefully how many brackets have we opened. There are two if conditions. So the red bracket closes the red bracket here. The red one closes the red one. And we got to close the black one which closes the initial if bracket. So this is a nested if condition one if inside another if condition so once i press enter you can see that we managed to get the correct result but this time we have seen that 88 so dr strange is a distinction and alita is at a distinction let us check if the marks are exactly 85 well uh, the new formula still gives you a distinction but if you are 84.99 then it changes it to a mere pass okay so this is just to test our formula and here's the formula again for you to check it out one more time next i will show you a new formula that microsoft has recently introduced so this formula is way much easier to write it is shorter and um, you will notice that we will be testing multiple conditions here so four and this formula is called if with the s ifs so these are going to test multiple conditions so i can just say if the marks are less than 50 then fail if the marks are less than so again we need to write the condition if the marks are less than 60 then it will be a D if the marks are less than 70 that means they are between 60 and 70 in which case it's going to be a C if the marks are less than 80 then it's going to be a b and if the marks are less than 90 then it's a a otherwise the final condition if it is a true then it will be a distinction that means if you don't fall in any of the previous buckets then it is going to be a distinction so we check it out and once we copy down you can see that everybody is getting the correct marks in this case uh, below 50 is a fail so 33 mickey is a fail and indiana 22 at fail at 50 you get a d at 55 it's still a D and if we change this to let's say 60 you'll see that it changes to a C at 70 it changes to a B 
and at 80 it changes to an A. So 80 and above is A and once we reach 90 then it becomes a distinction immediately. So as you can see this formula you can test multiple conditions in one shot. So we are testing here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the sixth is the default six conditions in a single if statement. So this is the new ifs uh, function that we find it extremely useful. I think you will also like it. Do uh, try it out. Do try it out. And if you like this tip, then please like this video, subscribe to our channel and visit our website excelchamp.net for more such useful videos. Thanks for watching guys. This is Vinay signing off from excelchamp.net. All the best.